The scything scene. Yeah, everyone remembers the scything scene. It was a really hot day, it was sweltering. Probably was my idea, definitely, to get my shirt off. <laughs> I do remember Phil Davis had a moment on set because he was asked to stand on a box because <laughs> they couldn't see him. Not because he's short, it was just that I was higher on a, on a little hill. I get why it was a massive success. I mean, for me, I think it was a shame because it did overshadow parts of the series. I just I made it a point to avoid talking about that scene because it just became something else once the press got a hold of it and stuff. And I just I was avoiding answering any questions. And, and some of the questions I found quite tricky. You know, you feel objectified and all these kind of things. And I felt like other people were trying to make me feel something I didn't. I want to talk about the sighting scene because I think it's misunderstood <laughs> because Everyone thinks it's all about Ross scything with his top off. It's not. It's about Demelza and her love for Ross. And he's idealised in her eyes. It's about Demelza looking up at him and going, oh my God, this is the man who saved me. And last night we slept together for the first time and there he is. And oh my God, he's gorgeous. It is through Demelza's perspective and it's the first time she's looking at, at Ross in this way. And there's something we've all seemed to have forgotten about, you know, or that Elizabeth is riding up in the background, you know, to have this really important scene to confront Ross. And it all comes together so beautifully, being the next scene, all of us being in the parlour and this sort of weird standoff where nobody knows where they're at or what's actually happening. Yeah, it was interesting. It's, it's strange to look back at it now because it's, it's five years ago, but it's still such a very, very poignant scene.